In this video, we're going to introduce you to Logic Pro, help you understand the basics and show you how your launch key reacts with Logic Pro. Logic Pro is divided into two main views, track area and live loop view. Use this button at the top here to switch between both views. Let's make sure we're in the main track area. Let's start off by saving the session. Name it and then press save. Regularly doing this prevents losing projects. Live loop view. Live loop view is grid based where you can trigger clips, loops and samples. Tracks come in rows and scenes come in columns. Your launch key provides an 8x2 view of this. Again, the tracks come in columns and the scenes come in rows. Track area. In track area, you can see your entire project laid out from left to right, making it easy to arrange and edit your music. Your tracks are here, your track settings are here, and here are some track controls. Track activator, where you can activate or deactivate your chosen track. Solo, where you can listen to the track independently, muting all other tracks. And record arm, letting you choose a track to record onto. To help you better understand Launch Key, we're going to focus on Live Loop View. So use this button at the top here to switch back to Live Loop View. Now you're in Live Loop View, let's prepare our project. You'll see two audio tracks we won't be using on screen. Let's delete them. Right click the top of Audio Track 3 and press Delete. Now do the same with Audio Track 4. Across these videos, we'll be covering creating drums, chords, a bass line, a melody and a vocal. This makes it five tracks in total. We already have two tracks on screen, so let's prepare the other parts. We'll create two more MIDI tracks and one audio track. To create a new MIDI track, right click the track area and select insert MIDI track. Do this twice so we have the MIDI tracks ready. Once you've done this, create one audio track for our vocal. To do this, right click the track area and select insert audio track. Now to keep things organised, let's name each track. Head over to the top of the track, right click and hit rename. Track 1 is our drums. Track 2 will be chords. Track 3 is bass. Track 4 will be our melody. And track 5 is our vocal. We'll go into opening instruments for each track as we develop our project. The foundation of a track is generally based on a tempo. So we're going to start by setting the tempo for our project. I'll be setting my project to 135 beats per minute. What you do is completely up to you. Here's a list of suggested tempos based on some genres, just some helpful guidelines to get you started. Your metronome will maintain a consistent tempo during your recording. On your launch key, you'll find a metronome button in the transport controls area. You can use this to turn your metronome on or off. We'll be switching our metronome on. This will help us record what we're playing accurately. To assist us, we'll be using a count in. This allows us to get ready to record. To do this, head over to the metronome, right click, select metronome settings, find recording, and next to count in, select two bars. 